Hi guys, welcome to my world of fragrance. Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest release from Chloe, unless they released something yesterday that I haven't heard of. It is the Chloe Eau de Parfum Naturel. I asked on Instagram if anyone was interested in hearing a review about this fragrance, and some of you were, so hopefully this is gonna be helpful for you. So this is a natural take on the classic Chloe fragrance, which I used to wear years and years ago. It is one of the most popular women's fragrances. Chloe is one of the most popular women's brands out there. So it's a fairly safe, crowd-pleasing option, or at least the original one was. So now Chloe has kind of jumped onto this hype train of everything being natural and clean beauty and sustainability and things like that. And so they've released the Naturel, which is more based on natural ingredients, um, not as many synthetics in this fragrance. It's, you know, catering to that audience of people because now you have a lot of people saying that perfume is toxic, they're not gonna wear it. Actually, I was quite surprised that this would come from such a big brand like Chloe, but this is their answer to people like that. So I decided that I would try this fragrance. Of course, I did a little spritz when I walked past it in the department store. And to my surprise, I actually quite liked it. So the reason why I gravitated towards this fragrance is because I used to wear the original years ago. And that used to be a sort of signature fragrance for me, although I did save it more for evening wear because it was actually quite loud. It projected quite a bit and it was a bit of an intense uh, scent. Crowd pleasing, but intense. And so I, I have always enjoyed that fragrance. I still enjoy it. I smell it all around the place, but I kind of wanted something that was an alternative. So I got my Chloe experience, but it wasn't the number one bestseller perhaps. So in comes this fragrance. And when you first spray this perfume, I mean, let's be real. It's not a groundbreaking perfume. It's not anything uh, crazy new. It's just a delightful, light, happy, floral, fresh fragrance. When you first spray this perfume, I always get like the leaves of a guava, the guava fruit. Now I got some perfume in my mouth. Ew. <laughs> the guava fruit, if you know it, the tropical fruit, not the actual fruit itself because that fruit is super sweet, but the green leaves of it is what I get at first. The real notes of this perfume say that it's citrus and black currant, but for me, it just really conjures that guava tree or the guava leaves. And that to me was just like so enticing from the very first scent because it brought me back to that place. Of course, if you have different memories and you don't know what I'm talking about, then you might not have that little spark within when you try this fragrance. So it is all subjective. Then the fragrance develops and you have this fresh rose that is still on the stem. It hasn't been plucked or anything. It's a virgin rose, okay? accompanied by this neroli oil, or it's like, it's it's a bit petit grain-like for me. So um, not as sharp as a neroli, a bit, a bit rounder. A little bit like a citrus rind accompanied with this young fresh rose. And then in the base, this fragrance is accompanied by some happy yellow floral mimosa and some cedar to ground it. And, uh, I just find it like to be a really lovely pick-me-up type of fragrance. I would definitely recommend this for daytime wear. Like I said, for me, it's a pick-me-up. So I know it's not gonna last ages. It lasts on me maybe like a good three hours, four hours. It will last longer if you go close to your clothing, but it's not gonna have that projection around it. And this is due to the amount of more naturals, less synthetics, less uh, chemicals in here to make this fragrance lasts like crazy. Of course you can get naturals that last a long time, but they're not in this fragrance. This is mainly light florals and citruses and notes that are naturally meant to be fleeting. And this smells very natural. So that is what I like about this fragrance. If you are prone to headaches, if you are a little bit sensitive to perfume, or if you know somebody who is sensitive to perfume, then I think that they might enjoy this fragrance. Um, if you are a fan of the original Chloe and if you are looking for a kind of spin take on that fragrance, I think that you should look elsewhere because this doesn't exactly conjure memories of the original Chloe. That one is a very particular type of fragrance. This scent is a lot lighter, less bold, if you will. This could easily be the scent of like a face mist or 
uh, a body spray from some sort of natural brand. And so I think that they really fit the bill of what they're trying to sell. They're trying to sell natural, they're trying to sell light, they're trying to sell uh, youthful and all of that. And I think that they did it quite well, actually. Uh, Michel Almerac is the nose behind this fragrance. And something else, even though it has nothing to do with the scent itself, when I had the original Chloe, the actual top with the metal got all rusty and gross after some time. So I actually appreciate that this fragrance does not have metal anywhere in sight. Actually, there is like right in the very inside, but there's no metal around it. So that's not gonna happen with this bottle, baby. <laughs> and also this part doesn't exactly move. Uh, on the bottle it's it's like stuck there and it's stuck at an angle so that way you're never gonna end up like spraying and then it sprays out into the sides or like into the back it's gonna always be a direct spray because it is aimed at you and it actually can't move so that is my review of this fragrance by Chloe do let me know if you have any more questions about my review and what you think about this fragrance if you have tried it I will also say that this is more of a unisex rose like it would be easier wearable by men and women alike of course always wear what you want but the original chloe was very much female focused whereas this one because it's so natural it could just be anyone has you know bathed in some floral waters and they came out smelling pretty like this so i hope that you enjoyed today's review and i will see you in my next video bye